Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma Say for those of you who are new. So today we're doing a lipstick review and I'm going to be reviewing the new lipsticks by Natasha Denona. This is from her collection called I Need a Rose and in the collection she has three lipsticks, three lip glosses and three lip liners and all these products come in the same three shades so um, you can sort of build from lip liner to lipstick and lip gloss all in the same shade which is pretty cool so I've picked up two of her cream lipsticks that I will be reviewing but before we get into the product um, I just wanted to let you know that I have a new course that I created on Skillshare so I am a multi-passionate. For those of you who don't know, I am actually a doctor. I'm a GP based in the UK, but I'm a certified makeup artist and I have a diploma in interior design. I've done lots of courses in photography and I've built up lots of skills in lots of other things, which I won't go into. But the course I created is called How to Achieve Your Full Creative Potential. And it's on this awesome platform called Skillshare where you can learn just about anything. So I'm going to drop a free link below this video that you can go and have a look at the course. So it's great for people who want to explore their creativity or if you're looking for a career change or you're just bored um, with your current nine to five or um, yeah, or just for any other reason that you struggle with creativity, this course is for you. All right, so let's get started. But before we do, you know, the usual like, subscribe, comment. Yeah. You know the drill. All right, first of all, let's talk price. This retails for £22 from the Cult Beauty website. And I think that's very much in keeping with the price point of Natasha Denona's brand. So it is, it is a luxury brand. And the packaging is beautiful. It's got this beautiful metallic chrome finish. I'm just going to open up one of them. I like the square shape, which is cool. It's very easy to handle. And it's got this twist mechanism. And you've got the beautiful Natasha Denona logo on there. It's very smooth, very easy to use. And if I put the cap on, it's sort of magnetic. So that's not going to fall apart in your purse. So yeah, I like it. It's cool. And looking at the rest of her products, I'll show you this palette. This is a sunrise palette by Natasha Denona. And I use that to create my eyeshadow look. You can see that there is a consistency across the brand. So that's good. And I wouldn't expect anything less from Natasha. So I'm going to quickly read the claims from the website as to what this lipstick is supposed to offer the consumer. So it's meant to be ultra hydrating and it's a gel based formula, which I found very interesting. It's full coverage and it's meant to be lightweight, luminous with a long lasting shine. And it's got papaya and aloe vera extract, which I think are quite moisturizing. Not sure if the papaya has got some antioxidant function, but I saw something called antioxidant on the website. Okay. All right, let's get on to the application. So this is the shade Color, which is meant to be a rosy brown. I'm just going to put it on um, without anything. There's no lip liner. I have a little bit of foundation on my lips, but nothing else. So I really want to see whether or not this is going to be truly full coverage. Let's take this down a bit. It's creamy, that's for sure. So that's one swipe and that's pretty good coverage. It glides very smooth like very smoothly and it does feel quite lightweight. So for the first application, not bad. I can definitely see it's got a bit of brown in there. It's almost like, a, I'm trying to think of what the shade is. I don't know, I can't quite think of the name of this shade right now. Yeah, I don't know, it's like a beigey, it's, I would call it a beigey pink. That's how I would describe it. So that's one layer, which is not bad. There's a little bit of patchiness, so I'm gonna go over it again. Mmm, I'm liking. I really like this. And I'm quite pleasantly surprised that it doesn't look too ridiculous. Because obviously I'm dark skinned and whenever I buy a pinkish lipstick, I always know I'm going to go in with a brown lip liner. But if I decided I did not want a lip liner on this, I actually could get away with this. So I'm, I'm quite impressed. I'm quite impressed. But hang on, let me just grab my brown lip liner. Okay, so this is a lip liner called Cork by MAC. I'm going to just pop that on the outside of my lips. It's not too bad. It just adds a little bit more definition to the lip. And it's subtle. It's not like overpowering. Obviously, I could go darker than this. Um, but for now, I'm liking it. 
so not bad not bad yeah color is a win okay I'm gonna take this off and then I'll try the second one next shade is Daphne and on the website is described as a deeper mauve pink and this color is the one shade that's meant to be universal so that's why I picked it because I thought okay if it's meant to be universal I'm gonna put this to the test and see whether or not it truly works on someone of my skin tone because sometimes when you see universal let's just be honest <laughs> people at the end of the spectrum of skin shades are often left out of the equation so here goes let's go in with Daphne okay okay again a very smooth application it's not snagging on my lips I still think I probably need two swipes to get the full coverage effect as is mentioned so I would say this is a medium but buildable to full coverage and I will say it does feel ultra moisturizing it feels really lightweight like I like the way it makes my lips feel in terms of fragrance hang on not detecting much of a fragrance to be fair from it so those of you who do not like fragrances I think you're gonna like it so there we go that's Daphne and I like it but I know myself I would still wear this with a brown lip liner but you can go away with it and I, I will say yes I do think this is quite universal but I would say if you're my shade or darker you might still just want to have a brown lip liner so this brown one is called chestnut by Mac one of my all-time favorites you need this in your life You can see it just makes the lipstick look less stamped onto my lips and it just looks a bit more natural. I'm just gonna blend that. Mm. Obviously I usually put on my lip liner before I put my lipstick on but just because I just wanted you guys to see what the lipstick looked like beforehand I did it. Mm. Ooh, I like this one. Okay I think Daphne might be my favorite. Yes, it's a very sophisticated pink. I would see myself wearing this for an occasion. I could see this. This has wedding vibes. Like it's very bridal, like for bridesmaids or the bride. This is a good one. Oh, I like this one. I think this is probably going to be my favorite. Okay, so just wanted to show you guys some swatches so you can appreciate the shades a bit better. So that's Kala, which is the brownie pink and this is Daphne which is meant to be a mauvey pink this is the one that's the universal shades so this is a subtle difference but um, I like them I think that you know whichever one you pick I really don't think you can go wrong with these shades I think they're absolutely beautiful and obviously on the website you'll see there's another shade called peony which unfortunately I didn't get but I might just have to go back and get it so yeah and you can see it has quite that a lustrous finish there's that bit of sheen to it as well all right, so you've seen how the two shades applied and you've seen how they look. But to conclude, I always like to go back to the claims listed on the website to make sure that uh, the claims match with the actual um, experience of the product. So let me just pull it up again on my phone. So the claims were that this lipstick is ultra hydrating and yes my lips feel beautiful. It feels like putting on a really moisturizing lip balm and I feel this is a lipstick I could wear for hours and be quite happy with. Second claim was that it was a gel based formula. I can't really argue with that. I will say that it applies so smoothly I really love the way it glides across my lips it's um yeah it's something you have to experience to feel it I like it I really like it so yeah the gel based formula I'll believe you um full coverage that's the one where I'm kind of in between I think for me I needed two full uh layers to get it to be full coverage I think if you bought the corresponding lip liners to these lipsticks because when you have the lip liners on in the same color when you put on just one layer of this then you'll get to full coverage very quickly so for me I would say it's a medium coverage but buildable to full and then the other claim is that it's lightweight and yes I don't really feel like I'm wearing anything because there's some lipsticks that can feel really heavy or they just have a little bit of a sensation attached to them just based on how they react with the skin but this feels beautiful very very lightweight the next claim is that it is luminous and yes there is this beautiful shine to it even without a lip gloss it just looks it catches the light beautifully I really like that and lastly it says long-lasting shine so obviously this is my very first time 
applying these lipsticks so I will need to do a wear test I'd like to wear this for the day and let you guys know how um, I got on with it so I will also drop my comments down in the description box so do have a look at that so yeah those are the claims I think overall for the most part apart from it being full coverage it did live up to all the claims so I'm quite happy with it I would give this lipstick at the moment without doing a wear test probably an 8 out of 10 so I think Natasha has done a brilliant job I think I haven't really been disappointed with her products and the last two things I always think of when I review products do I like it absolutely yes and I love the fact that I think there's shades here for everybody I, and that's quite important to me so that's really good and the second question to answer is should you buy it um, I think if you're looking for some beautiful pink lipsticks that are in the luxury category and a good quality then yes go for it I don't think you'll go wrong with these lipsticks and as I said I think there is a shade for everybody so that's it guys that is my review on the Natasha Denona I need a rose lipsticks I'm happy I'm happy <laughs> thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and don't forget to subscribe drop me some comments especially if you've tried this lipsticks I'd love to hear how you guys got got I would <laughs> I'm getting tongue-tied I'd love to hear how you guys got on with them don't forget my course I'll put the link down there and so go check it out how to achieve your full creative potential and I really hope you're inspired by it all right I'll see you guys in my next video bye